Yesterday, I went to jail for, uh, for, um, well, the best thing it could be for the state, it could be a, a computer error or somebody just was just negligent. All right, just the best thing it could be is to, we could say that somebody on the, on the state side was negligent. Now, what, what might make me think it's more than just negligence is, in, in in terms of just straight malicious, um, I've been very active in calling the state and the pension system, the Division of Investments, uh, various agencies to um, create access to capital, particularly for uh, women in uh, black and brown community ventures and funds, um, and primarily black and brown community, uh, primary, primarily communities. Now, unfortunately, you know, the actual police that arrested me, they, they were more so people that were black and brown. And in particular, the black one was probably the most um, callous, so to speak, right? Now, the, re the reality of um, of being a black man in America, right? Or brown, whatever it is I am, it doesn't matter, right? I've, Statistically, I've created more economic commitments for black and brown communities than any other citizen in the state of New Jersey, right? I've I've sat and I've explained this policy to um, Senator Menendez's office. And mind you, I got arrested like a couple blocks from where Senator Menendez is from, right? So we're talking about a United States senator in his hometown and his own court um, that have actually contributed to I go to jail um, for, again, the best case that they can say is a, a, they made an, an error. The worst case they can say is, well, somebody wanted to teach me a lesson, but we're just going to assume for the best. So assume for the best, right? And by the way, the lesson is like, I'm 100% running for president now. Now it's just 100% just um, the way to respond to injustice, um, you know, while there's a lot of thoughts and things that I could do and ways I could respond, the Holy Spirit leads me just, you know, you just got to run present. That's just, that's just it. We live in a very wicked, corrupt, and just society in which somebody like me who's outspoken and refuses to be a slave is either, you know, people like me historically have either um, gotten killed or become uh, extraordinary uh, transformational leaders um and you know, when i was in arkansas and i'm looking at like john lewis's good trouble thing i'm just like uh, you know i um i'm just prepared you know i realized like my path to the white house and to the presidency um, this is something i've been thinking about for a long time and it's always been because you know i live with just these extreme injustices right like like again i've created more economic commitments from any minorities in the history of my state right um and i've personally uh been able to steer value to my friends family and community but like it doesn't matter i'm still a, a, a what they deem a black man a nigga in america and so you know things like this are going to happen right the state can say Ultimately, there was some computer error or something that led me to being put in jail, and it wasn't for the grace of the God and you know my my family support. You know, I definitely would. Um, things could have been a things could have been a lot worse, and I was able to um, um, leverage um, uh, people that cared about me and an, and an understanding of uh, a very wicked institution in order to. Um, combat injustice with justice, right? And it's still not over. Um, actually, I'm supposed to go back December 1st, uh, but but nonetheless, um, this is where we are. Like, I used to wonder, people always wonder what they would do. I think millennials, you know, wondered uh, what we would do in the civil rights movement. Well, this is, this is it, right? We, we just, I put out there, I'm gonna run for president, um, the I'm suing Whole Foods for getting falsely arrested and battered and uh, and have a, a deposition for a federal civil case, and literally uh, twelve hours before I'm supposed to get deposed, 
um, and suing them, you know, in a in a billion dollar lawsuit. I mean, I'm put in jail. Now, mind you, I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, in in New Jersey, where I'm from, uh, I hadn't that I've had a lot of experiences happen, things that were unjust, but not quite like a, like a criminal jail until uh until yesterday, right? And you know, although I've been um I've been subjected to some pretty uh some pretty bad things as a result of just no other reason than the way I look. Um, yesterday was just like the culmination of my breaking point. And in, in, in a sense, it was just like, if I got to pretend and play a racist game in a rigged society, then like, why, do, why would I play that? Right? Like I would, I, you know, the, the other option that I prefer is, is something that's going to be bad for everybody. Right. So, the, so the best thing, um, to happen is, for me to execute this president's campaign, I'm just telling you, like, like this is a black man's life and journey in this country. No matter what we do, um, how much we contribute to society, where we go to school, right? I'm, I'm telling you, I've sat and I, it's going to come out, right? I've sat and I've written, um, helped write policy for our community uh, in particular. Um, and, it, and it just doesn't matter, right? You know, the, the way that it's, it's easier and more convenient for the status quo to destroy you, your family, your generations than it is to recognize you as a human and um and, and keep your inalienable civil rights. But, you know, we know that those constitutional rights never really applied to us, um uh, or, or weren't intended to apply to us better better yet, weren't entire weren't intended to to uh be entitled to anybody but uh wealthy land owning white men uh, of the day. And that's the society we we live in and uh, people think that uh, I th- I think people just don't care because we've been a perpetual underclass, um, and I understand that. So my message is is just not for everybody. I realize that um, quite often the the people that will execute the will of a wicked and just system will, will more likely be people that don't really have power, but they just look like me. Um, and they have a position or a title or authority that, by the law, grants them uh, grants them an excuse to act in an unjust manner, right? And you know, people use the excuse, "I'm just doing my job," right? Like I don't do certain jobs um, and do certain work. Uh, I, I, just me. I know that's just me, right? Like people offer me crazy amounts of money all the time, right? Hundreds of millions of dollars to to do what I think maybe. Uh, um, if I if it's compromising my integrity, then it's something I just don't want to do it. Right, but you know, again, I've learned to expect other people to just make the excuse of doing my job. Um, but anyway, man, I do want to um, I do want to highlight a uh, uh, officer Singletary, man, um, solid dude. Uh, when I was um, that actually locked me up. Um, although. Uh, there was just a lot of just weird bullshit. Like I never got read my rights. I heard like five different reasons I was going to jail, and and none of them were valid. Um, so again, you know, I'm, I know enough to know that this goes above like any individual cops' heads. Um, and just given like where it happened, you know, it happened in a a very small city that uh is where United States Senator. Uh, has his office, and so you know, one would think that in the home of a United States senator, which is, I mean, not like a big city, but like a, a a small one, that the court would function in a way conducive to democracy and not tyranny. But that's just not the case. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be giving y'all the the my perspective on um on running for president, uh, being a black man in America, um building economic enfranchisement through um crypto finance technology um web3 and and also just you know pinch capital and uh, and private equity uh so thank you for listening uh, this is uh a nigger's life in america king's life in america um a, a man striving to 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 be treated as a man um, and live with dignity and humane conditions in a society that has 
already decided it, w- it will not be so. Uh, man, thank you for listening.